put in their Beat Stars links in their bio and um, on YouTube and being young, trying to find out how we could do things the right way and sell beats the right way. That was kind of the best outlet I had was Beat Stars. Yo, it's your boy Zay Cartier, man. We at Hitmaker Week with Beat Stars and Sony Music Publishing, man. Going crazy. Music kind of just in my blood. My mom, you know, doing music, my uncles, sisters, everybody. Um, I'm from the Bronx, New York. Um, grew up back and forth, Bronx, New York, and in Pennsylvania and Allentown. You know, came out here three years ago, and music is just, it's always been there. I was an artist before I was a producer, and I just came to realization that I like what's going on in the, in the beats and everything, and um, I wanted to get more in depth with, you know, beats and, you know, I've just been going crazy ever since I can't stop. I didn't even get too deep into finding out if I wanted to be an artist or not. My boy was making beats and I kind of always wanted to anyway. And I just learned from him, watched him for a whole year in the garage, learning how to make beats. And um, it kind of just stuck with me and I just never stopped since. I've definitely got like a trap, you know, Florida bounce. Coming to Florida definitely opened up my ears for music more, way more, because um, up north in New York and in Pennsylvania, you know, it's a lot of drill and it's very like, you know, just that. Um, coming to Florida, it was it's a whole different bounce on the beats. And I definitely feel like I made a sound for myself being, you know, coming to Florida and learning this sound. You know, the New York never gonna go nowhere, but transitioning, I had no choice because Come in here, we're like outsiders. So, you know, I had no choice but to see what was going on. And I'm glad I did, you know, I feel like I, I like where I'm at right now with my sound. Hearing it in the community, uh, the producers community, you know, everybody, you know, put in their Stars links in their bio and um, on YouTube and being young, trying to find out how we could do things the right way and sell beats the right way. That was kind of the best outlet I had was Beatstars. Um, you know, when we were young, we don't really know about contracts and leases and how all that stuff works. So that definitely helped me a lot. And um, being on Beatstars has helped networking with other producers, you know, meeting other producers. You know, I have producers that hit me up on Beatstars in the DM like, yo, let's work, let's do this, you know, and opportunity. Soaking in the game from other producers, you know, producers like Keeve, watching how they monetize and do all their stuff. It was definitely trial and error, you know. I was selling exclusive beats for like fifty dollars, and I didn't really know. I didn't know my worth at, at first, you know. And speaking to other producers and stuff, they were like, "Nah, you need to do it like this." You know, you got the basic license, and you got limited and exclusive. And that's when I kind of came to realization was like, "Okay, I'm gonna have this at this price, do this at this," and you know, it went just more more smooth. For me, it was more um, just being in the rooms and um, being hands-on and traveling and making sure you show face definitely more than once too, so people can remember your face. Building relationships, I feel like you know that's very very important. Like you guys were speaking on earlier, being a human and having a human connection is very very important. So that's what's helped me the most with my brand is you know just putting myself out there and showing face. And um, some advice I would give is you know. There's a lot of producers out there that um, don't really got pictures of themselves at all, you know, and some of these are like the hottest producers out. My advice would just be, and that's to anybody, you know, just brand yourself because this is key, especially if you want this to be like, you know, the main source of income, you know, your full time, this is your dream. Um, branding is key. Man, my first placement was um, actually out here in Florida with Boston Richie. I didn't know who he was at all, to be honest, until I heard the song with him in Future. The beat sounded very similar to a beat that I did. And I was just on a mission. Like, I was like, nah, I gotta get one. Like, that could have been mine. It's like, what? I was like, that's crazy. So um, just manifesting. And, um, you know, I told myself, I'm gonna get one with him, you know? And one day I just randomly posted a beat, a, a thread of beats, and um, told everybody to tag Boston Richie. Um, and this was like before he had signed. So, you know, he had seen it, he hit me up. I was freaking out at first. I thought it was a fake page. I was like, nah, there's no way he hit me up. And he just sent me his number. And then, you know, like I said, just building relationship, just sending that heat. I feel like I'm able to balance it best because I engineer as well. So it's easy for me to provide my value being in the room, being that I engineer. I host a very big podcast in Florida 
called We Are Florida Podcast. So it's it's multiple lanes that I'm in. You know, it's not just beats, not just um, you know, engineering. It's it's really all around, like I said, branding. It happened two years ago. I was working at a 7 Eleven, um, making beats behind the register, networking with people that way. You know, I worked overnight, so when people came out the clubs and stuff, you know, I was, yo, let's work, let's work, let's work. Um, really just like I said, showing face, putting myself out there. Once I put myself in the studios and realized, you know, I could be making money off of my beats and stuff, I started realizing like, dang, I'm making more money selling beats in one day than I am working a whole shift at 7-Eleven in a week. That kind of just opened my eyes. So one day I just, I took the sacrifice and I quit the job and I took music full time. I told myself I was gonna learn how to engineer and make it full time and I did that. And it's just, it's been, it's been dope ever since. Consistency is um, organizing beats for multiple artists, not just focusing on on one person, one artist, learning the business, the music business, you know. My manager is very big on that, you know, teaching us. Learning the music business, sending, organizing. For me, you know, I engineer, so I make sure I'm doing a certain amount of hours and sessions all day. Man, I didn't know it was this deep. <laughs> I thought it was just, you get paid for a beat, that was it. You know, you get all your stuff, but you know, it's definitely more deeper than that. Um, you know, learning about publishing and, and distribution and all, all types of stuff. It's definitely helped a lot. You know, at first I wasn't really hip to it. I didn't really care too much for it. But then, you know, my manager had showed me how important it was and continuing to show me. So it's definitely a, a must. You, you need to know the music business being doing this. If you have someone around you that has the best interest in you, listen to them, whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, that's what I could say. It's definitely gotta be clean. <laughs> I definitely need a clean workspace. Um, you know, I, I do a lot of drums on my beats, so I have a loop email, a lot of producers send me loops and stuff. So my first thing is, you know, what am I feeling? Am I feeling turnt? Am I feeling, and kind of just go off that, run through my loop email and just go crazy. I see myself in the next two years, man, taking care of my family off of music publishing and uh, um, a whole lot of stuff. How do I get there is being consistent, continuing to work and don't give up. As a producer and as an engineer, there's a lot of times where we might feel like we're not going nowhere or we might have a hit one day and then, you know, feel like we're nobody in the next, but um, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep going because you control what goes on. Honestly, the producer community, man, like the love they show and, you know, the effort that everyone is showing to collaborate and get work done, that's really what's been keeping me, you know, going because, you know, it's something when you got, you know, producers telling you you're fire, but it's something when you got producers that you learned how to make beats from telling you like, bro, you're fire, like, and wanting to work with you, you know, that's a different feeling. Man, keep going. Put your face out there. You know, there's a lot of hands-off producers, but I really, really, really encourage being hands-on and showing face and building a relationship. That's very important. Come on.